18th and 19th century, we harnessed the world-class winds off the Gulf of Maine and delivered products truly to the rest of the world. The 20th century was the age of fossil fuels, and we did not, we turned our backs on wind. And here we are at the beginning of the 21st century, turning back into the wind. So what you hear behind you is the sound of the future. better not only for the island, but the earth as well. We will produce less greenhouse gases, it will make our environment cleaner, happier, and we will be happy too. It is the start of a new generation that will cover the entire world, a new world of green power. Our new life with wind energy is not only a victory for us, but a small victory for the world. speaks for all of us when she says, I would like to be part of the grand opening of this project as a part of the younger generation who would like an island to come home to someday. Final Haven today, it's a big day. Um, we just did the official ribbon cutting for the Fox Island Wind Project, a project that I am so excited about. We've been working on for several years. Um, for me, this I live on the island of North Haven, which is part of the Fox Islands. This is about um, affordable power for year-round residents of North Haven and Vinyl Haven. This is about a long-term energy source that we can rely on. We're producing our own power on a net basis. These two islands will be energy independent, and that is a big, big deal. Really exciting. Um, so today's a celebration. Um, there are still lots of challenges to come, but I am uh, really proud that we've made it here. Um, both of the schools of North Haven and Violent Haven were here today celebrating. The kids gave great speeches. Uh, the governor was here. So this is <laughs>